It's fight week ahead of the biggest fight of the year, no question. Tyson Fury and Dante Wilder finally conclude their trilogy in Las Vegas on Saturday. We'll be looking back on all of the drama from the first two meetings in the company of Carl Frampton and Derek Chisora. We'll also discuss how the third and final fight could be won and lost, as we expect fireworks once again in Sin City this weekend. I'm fearless. That's why I knock them out. Watch me do it. I'm living in Deontay Wilder's mind, totally 100% rent free. Here we go. Oh, and down he goes. And I don't think he's going to get up. I think it's all over. Oh, my goodness. Great punch from Fury. The decision is a draw. They're both unbeaten, and it's a rematch. That's never, ever happened before. This is the biggest heavyweight fight out there. When that bell rings, it's going to be a war. This is unfinished business. I'm going to make him feel a fury. Oh, oh, he's it down! Left hand, right hand! I don't think he's got much Bottom shot. And he's gone! Oh, right hand down the middle. Oh, he's the towel in! He threw the towel in! Tyson Fury is the heavyweight champion of the world! Well, so much drama, fellas, in those first two contests. And Derek, we have another cracking world title fight to look forward to. Yes, we do. In Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we can't get there. <laughs> but it's going to be a very, very exciting fight because it's the last one now. Winner takes all. So I'm excited about this. And Carl, not quite the AJ Tyson Fury fight that everyone wanted, but still a dangerous fight for Fury. At the end of the day, he's got nothing really to win in victory, but everything to lose if he gets beat. Yeah, uh, I would 100% agree with that. All the lose for Fury. Um, people are expecting him. How the first fight went, they, most people thought he won. How the second fight went, he definitely won that. People are expecting him to show up and, and get the win here again. So all to lose for Tyson Fury. And Derek, you've actually fought for the WBC heavyweight title against Vitaly Klitschko. You were away from home. Yes. Now, I know Tyson's the, the champion, but he's still, it's, it's in America. He's against a, an American boxer. How difficult is it for a British boxer in a world title fight away from home? You know what? Uh, Tyson don't really care. You know, he, <laughs> went, he went to Germany. He did all what he had to do to win. He won. Yeah. You know, he came back. He retired for a while. He went to America and he won. So for him, he don't really care. Wherever he, as long as it's in a boxing ring, he don't care. But it's Vegas, so he's going to be on fire. And Carl, you've obviously fought in Vegas a couple of times. How different is it? Um, the first fight that I had in Vegas was a big fight against Santa Cruz. The second fight was a, a much smaller one. But I don't know. I suppose it's just like any other fight. Like Derek says, you're in a ring somewhere else. You don't have to worry about the judges. Um, but... It's a, there's plenty of razzmatazz about it and your name up in lights and stuff and it's extreme level what Fury and Wilder are going through compared to what I went through but Tyson's been involved in it as is Wilder so they'll be okay. Lots of distractions though you've got to there, keep focused. It's, it's Sin City isn't it? There's so yeah. many distractions <laughs> you can do whatever you want in Vegas um, but um, I suppose when you've got the head on and getting ready to fight you're fully focused on that and then I suppose you can let their hair down afterwards if they want. We've also got a few tweets that have, are coming in. So here we go from Tyson Fury. What do you make of that, Derek? No excuses this time. No excuses. He's going to knock him out. You know, he's going to be big at it. Um, he wants to unify the division, basically. That's his dream left now. Because remember, Tyson, most people don't understand, Tyson has won from, from United Kingdom. He's won the English title. Yeah. You know, remember when he boxed Joe McDermott? the first time and yeah. we say Joe McDermott won it, you know, and there was a rematch and he cleared it, wiped the floor with Joe McDermott and then from that he won the British title, the Commonwealth, the European, so he's won everything. So I think this time he wants to knock the Antawild out and then unify the division, basically. Well, this is from John Tawala. This time you won't get up. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't know if he needs to be tweeting, considering what happened. The first fight called a draw, but we all thought that Tyson done enough to win it. The second fight, he just bullied him and wiped him out. Um, if I was Deontay Wilder, I suppose social media plays a big, has a big impact in, in everyone's life these days, but if I was Deontay Wilder, I would not be tweeting anything, considering how the second fight went. Yeah, sometimes social media, we know it can be a problem for everyone these days, but in boxing then, sometimes you just... 
Why not leave it alone? Just say nothing. He doesn't. He doesn't have to say anything. We all know what happened in the fights. He's coming to this fight. He, he believes he can win this fight, but he's just setting himself up, I suppose, for a big fall. And can you imagine if it doesn't go the way he wants it to go, and Tyson Fury wins again? That tweet won't won't go down very well with a lot of people. Yes, and this is a social wall, and the, the tweets are coming in. That was a great outfit, though, not it? Yeah. That was <laughs> mental, though, the excuses with the outfit. I've never heard too, excuses like heavy. that in my life. How heavy was it? Yeah. Well, before we get into breaking down the first two fights in more detail, let's see what the man Tyson Fury has made of the Fury Wilder story so far. After the first Wilder fight in the last round, when he knocked me down and got back up and I got into him, and he didn't like it. And from that moment on, I knew I how to beat Deontay Wilder. I knew I had to go forward on him and unload big punches. The decision is a split decision draw. At the time, you look back on it and it's like, oh damn, all this hard work and I've got a draw. But looking back on it now, years later, it was probably the best thing that could have happened because I got to do it all again, got a massive ESPN contract. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was good, you know, it worked out for the best. I didn't think anything, to be fair. I thought he was just putting on a show and doing, doing what he has to do, up, upholding his end of the bargain and putting on a show for everybody. I didn't even take it into, into mind that someone would blame their uh, ring walk attire for the reason they lost, but, you know, every man to his own, own thing. And I think with all Wilders complaining, it's only made this fight even bigger. I was good, you know, I was uh, focused, determined, confident. I'd done everything right in the gym, I couldn't do any more. I was 100% confident I was going to do my best and that would be it. Just that I've gone and go in there and have a boxing fight, I was just looking forward to it. I didn't feel anything, you know, it was just like, okay, we're boxing now and we're at it. You don't really feel punches unless you get knocked down, you don't even feel that either, you just get up off the floor and fight back. Oh, oh, good left hand. Hand down! Left hand, right hand! I remember thinking, damn, it was like a couple of minutes too late because I predicted I would knock him down in round two and it ended up being in round three. Um, and I just, I just caught him with a good punch and I knew I'd, I knew I'd take him out. I always said that I'd knock him out. Um, uh, no, we're all just human beings. We're not, we're not super humans or anything. And you get hit properly, you're going to go over. That's a fact. I didn't see that he was ready to be taken. I, I thought that I'd just uh, keep boxing and, and wait me time until the moment, right moment rose. And it, it happened again and he ended up going down again with some body punches. And then the, the final stoppage one was while well, I was catching him clean and he was... I believe the referee actually saved his life that night and saved his career, for sure. And the new WBC heavyweight champion of the world... It was just like, you know, I told you so and I'm back where I belong. 